Hi guys, just off to my mum's. I'm going to go and make her pancakes. And the reason I'm making her pancakes is that yesterday I went out and picked a whole heap of rose hips and made rose hip syrup. And one of the ways to eat it is on pancakes. So I thought that'd be a nice treat for her. Got the batter and the rose hip and oh god, the syrup and jugs on the seat next to me so bumpy tracks not very good never mind never made rose hip syrup before and it was dead easy to make um if i'd thought about it i'd have been making it from as soon as the rose hips were ready i'll catch them all next year i can tell you it's an acquired taste i think but i really like it i i vaguely remember it from when i was young i'm sure as kids we were given rose hip syrup like it made juice for babies. I'm sure I used to feed my sister rose hip syrup as a drink when she was a baby. Um, but it's very nice, tastes lovely and I'm well chuffed with it. So I hope my mum likes it too. She should do because I'm sure she used to make it many many years ago and when I phoned her and told her she was sounding quite pleased about it. So. Hi guys! Oh, don't you start. That's me back home. Pancakes were a success. If you want to make rose hip syrup, which is very good for you because it's very high in vitamin C, uh, you need four cups of rose hips, give them a good wash, pick off the flower tips and the stems, and try not to break them up. Don't get the, you don't want the inside the hairs and the seeds on your fingers because they're irritant and you certainly don't want to eat them. Um, they'll stick into your fingers. So just give them a good wash, pick off the ends and put them in a pan. So that's four cups of rose hips. Add to that two cups of water. Boil them for 20 minutes. After they're boiled, I strained mine through a fine metal sieve and then just to make sure no hairs got in I put a bit of kitchen roll in the sieve and strained it through again through the kitchen roll. You then add one cup of sugar and boil it hard for five minutes. You've then got your rose hip syrup which has got the most beautiful smell and delicate flavour and it's full of vitamin C as I said it actually doesn't even lose a lot of vitamin C in the boiling I think if you boil it for something like 80 minutes it loses 15% and we're only boiling it for 20 minutes so it, it should be good um, you can keep it in the refrigerator for two weeks after it's made and I think I'm actually going to freeze some into little blocks for individual portions like for pancakes. Definitely need a pourer because I've got it in a tub and I was pouring far too much onto the pancakes. So I need some sort of pourer for pouring smaller amounts. But it was very nice and we were very pleased with it. Okay, that's it. Bye.